For speedrunners, cutscenes are the worst. While these interactions normally add depth to a game, in a speedrun, they normally boil down to just button mashing or just plain waiting. Speedrunners obviously try to find skips and time saves in all parts of the game, but because of how lengthy and boring cutscenes are, cutscene skips are very lucrative in the world of speedrunning. Specifically, the Valve games, like Portal and Half-Life, have been praised for their usage of cutscenes. Or more like lack of cutscenes. While these games take the time to stop progression and talk to you, the game never actually takes away control over the player. NPCs will talk at you, but you can just choose not to listen. For speedrunners, this opens up the playing field a ton, as with full control over the player, we can use tricks and glitches to plan all sorts of cutscene skips. Through over a decade of Source Engine exploitation, many absurd skips have been discovered, but there's still one obstacle that seems impassable, no matter how many glitches we find. The Relaxation Vault from Portal is a whopping 57 second long cutscene, which takes place right at the start of the game. The player has to listen to GLaDOS until the portals open, with seemingly no way to speed up the process or to exit the vault early. Since Portal's release in 2007, speedrunners have been able to beat the game in a blistering 6 minutes. Yet, almost 15% of the speedrun is spent simply waiting in this relaxation vault. Because of how much time the vault takes, and because of how it seemed unbreakable, a potential vault skip was sought after for almost 14 years. While such a skip seemed impossible, Portal speedrunners would eventually find ways to break out. This is the story of Portal's most elusive skip, the Vault Skip. But before we go into it, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, Atlas VPN. Atlas VPN is a tool that encrypts your online data and hides your virtual location. By using a VPN, you hide your IP address so that you're able to browse the internet safely and without fear of any third parties spying on you. Atlas VPN works on your computer and mobile devices, and through my link in the description, you can get Atlas VPN for only $1.39 a month. In addition to safety, there's so many clever things that you can do with Atlas VPN. Because of country restrictions, there are a lot of shows that I don't have access to on streaming services. But by connecting to another country's server through Atlas VPN, I can get around geo restrictions and watch my favorite shows. You also get access to their data breach monitor program where Atlas VPN will scan the internet and alert you if they find your sensitive data in online data breaches. So check out Atlas VPN through my link in the description below. It's only $1.39 a month and even comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. The biggest problem with the vault is the lack of resources. The player is stuck in a small room with no portal gun. All we have is a lamp, a bed, a toilet, and a small table with a radio, clipboard, and cup. Speedrunners would quickly find humorous tricks and glitches, like being able to clip the cup through the glass, getting the lamp stuck to the ceiling, or getting the clipboard stuck in midair. But all of those glitches just helped to pass the time, and it seemed like there was no way to get around those 57 seconds of waiting at the start of a Portal speedrun. Portal speedrunners would joke that they could use the airboat vehicle from Half-Life 2 to skip the vault, because for some reason, the console command to spawn an airboat isn't protected by cheats. So even though this obviously wasn't allowed, some speedrunners would claim that airboats let you skip the vault and technically aren't cheating. But for the most part, airboat shenanigans looked like the closest speedrunners would ever get to skipping the vault. Without any portals to work with, speedrunners had no ideas, and it seriously seemed like it would be impossible to skip the cutscene. So speedrunners decided to swallow their pride, and implements something called the Vault Save. While waiting for the portals to open in the vault, it is impossible to gain or lose any time. The portals always open at exactly 57 seconds. So, the Portal Speedrun community decided, why not just start the speedrun at 57 seconds? Instead of starting the speedrun from a new game on the main menu, speedrunners would instead load a community-made quick save that starts right before the portals open. The Vault Save is a quality of life feature that made grinding out the speedrun much more tolerable, as you didn't have to wait a whole minute before actually starting the speedrun. The time skipped by loading the quick save would be added back onto the final time, so if you've ever seen a portal speedrun before, that's why the timer normally starts at 53 seconds. Speedrunners basically gave up on skipping the vault, 
and started using the vault safe to forget about the intro cutscene's existence. But as time went on, some speedrunners would still be fixated on skipping the vault. In 2016, a speedrunner named Jukespa released a tool-assisted speedrun for Portal, which beat the game in just about 5 minutes. So, how does Jukespa's perfect speedrun deal with the vault? Jukespa would climb on top of the lamp in the vault, and then manipulate the lamp in a perfect way to get a ton of speed and clip through the vault ceiling, landing all the way at the Chamber 1 elevator. This task strat would skip all of the vault, Chamber 0, and Chamber 1, resulting in one of the biggest skips in the game. It sounded too good to be true, and it kind of was, because this strategy was basically impossible for a human to perform. For a lot of legendary speedrun tales, Humans try to match their tool-assisted counterparts as closely as possible, but for games like Portal, things are quite a bit different. The fact that a tool-assisted speedrun of Portal exists in the first place is a miracle, because many speedrunners thought that it would be impossible to precisely control a player's camera without access to console emulator tools. As a fun fact here, the website YouCannotTaskPCGames.com redirects the portal task purely in spite of that fact. Even with custom-made tools, Jukespa estimates that it took him around 30 hours of tinkering to perfect this 6 second segment in the speedrun, and he claims that it's probably the hardest trick currently known in portal speedrunning. Imanex is the only human who has performed the lamp clip fault skip. Imanex performed the trick for a segmented speedrun, so he could make quick saves and retry individual sections of the skip as much as he wanted. Imanex estimates that these 6 seconds of gameplay took almost 2 months to perfect, and agrees that it is the hardest trick in Portal speedrunning. So maybe if you were a robot, it was possible to skip the vault. But for humans, we would accept that it is basically impossible to skip it, and would stick to the vault save. Ideas of a vault skip would once again lay dormant for almost half a decade, but that would all change on June 26th of 2021, where seemingly out of nowhere, a speedrunner named Zionic shared a video with some other Portal speedrunners. Zionic happened to stumble upon one of the biggest skips in Portal speedrunning, as he found a way to easily break out of the relaxation vault. The glitch involved getting stuck in the bed, as after waking up, the bed plays a small animation of a glass cover closing over the bed. By standing on top of the bed, and then jumping while the glass closes, the player can get stuck. Once stuck, the player can use the radio to push themselves, giving Chell a bit of horizontal speed. Because of how Source Engine physics work, when the player is stuck and has horizontal speed, saving and loading will move the player horizontally. By spamming quick saves and quick loads, the player can eventually clip through the glass and exit the vault early. This skip is groundbreaking. Not only is it easy to perform, but it is also completely inbounds, so it can be used to save 50 seconds in the inbounds category. Portal speedrunners thought for years that if a vault skip were to be possible, it would likely be incredibly complex. However, the whole time, the solution was right under our noses. Just the bed and radio are all we need to break free from the 57 second long cutscene. This skip can also be used for any percent speedruns. Back in February, I made a video about the incredibly complicated skip that the any percent speedrun uses for the first three levels, which involves a ton of out of bounds shenanigans and radio launches. However, the out of bounds skip is the exact same speed as doing the vault skip and doing the rest of the chamber inbounds. Although it is much harder, the skip can also be performed in the inbounds no save load abuse category. While you can't do save loads to clip through the glass, sometimes the horizontal speed is so overwhelming that you just pop through the vault. Since the discovery of the vault skip, speedrunners have been able to beat portal inbounds in under 9 minutes. When the 10 minute barrier was broken back in November of 2019, it was thought to be the final minute barrier for the speedrun. But because of the vault skip, the category has now surpassed everyone's expectations, 
and now we seriously have no idea how low it can go. The relaxation vault was thought to be unbreakable for over a decade, but when speedrunners are faced with a challenge, it seems that nothing really is unbreakable. Thanks for watching and have a great day.